Good morning, Pottery Raves. I'm Eureka. And I'm Raina. And here's the campus news for Monday, March 6th. Last Thursday was Read Across America, and our awesome library hosted a wonderful musical chairs activity at lunch. Let's take a quick look at how that went. Thanks to Ms. Duarte for organizing such a great lunchtime event. Now please stand for the pledge. I have pledged of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now an update from ASB about the school dance. Good morning, Potter Braves. We have some very exciting news for you. On March 24th, we will be having a very enchanting spring dance. dance. That's right, March 24th from 5 to 7 p.m. We will be having our enchanted forest themed dance. We will be selling tickets in front of Bowers from March 13th to March 24th for both lunches. And get this, they're only for $5. The minute we start selling them because these two weeks will go by fast. Permission slips will be given out in the counseling office. Also, don't forget if you're on the non par list, you cannot participate in the dance, so don't get on non par. That's all for now, Parter Brave. Now back to the anchors! Thanks, guys. Now, a update why you should get a yearbook. Hi, Parter Braves. Have you bought your yearbook yet? If not, why are you waiting for? You can purchase your yearbook at jossets.com. But remember, we can't guarantee you that your book said it does it that fast. All right, Potter Braves, don't forget. See you now back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. This Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the cafeteria is going to be serving some new breakfast items and wants students to vote on what they like. We're calling it the election week for breakfast. We'll have more information about it in the cafeteria and want to invite students to come in and try something new. This week is also our beginning of our spring menu. We have new lunch entrees, including chicken alfredo, chicken quesadilla, pepperoni pasta, and more. Parent-teacher conferences are today and tomorrow, which means that we will be on minimum day schedule for those days and students will leave school at 1215. Today, students will attend periods 1, 3, and 5, and on Tuesday, students will attend periods 2, 4, and 6. Conferences will be scheduled with your teachers as needed. Now an update about St. Patty's Day. Hey, we have a special St. Patrick's Day surprise for you guys. Starting March 6th and ending on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. We will be having a St. Patrick's Day scavenger hunt. We will hide paper coins, three leaf clovers, one four leaf clover, and leprechaun faces all around the school. Finding a three leaf co clover is one point, a coin is five points, a leprechaun face is 10 points, and the lucky four leaf co clover is 25 points. If you do find any of these lucky items, please take them and put them in your lucky envelope where you can collect them in front of the counseling office. Don't forget to write your name on the envelope. After that, all you need to do is turn in your envelope in front of the counseling office by 6 period on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. The winner with the most points wins a special prize. That's it for now, Potter Brace. Now, now back to the anchors! Thanks guys. Now a reminder about the school rules. Students should not be wearing hoods, hats, or beanies inside the classroom. These are fine to wear outside when the weather is cold, but please remove them when you enter the classroom. Also, food and drink is not permitted inside of the classrooms. Please finish your food before entering the classroom. Remember, no gum on campus, no food on the field, no groups larger than five on the quad. Bring your ID every day and charge your Chromebook every night. So until next time, stay classy Potter Braves. Take money.